Yes, I need to build this prototype of a mobile workbench. So my estimation is that uh, if I have to do it today, I would say it's between 40 and 80 hours. When I first did it, I thought that within one week, I would really have done it. Today, I must say that I needed more or less 160 hours. So I'm going to look with you how we estimate the construction of such a mobile workbench. It's Kristen from Vision 6D, and this task is one of the most difficult teams and for project manager. Estimation of time uh, when we have to build something we haven't done till now. So, for me, you will now do the estimation yourself. For this, I will describe the different steps. What I did is that I had to do some research first. I had to look a bit what was on the market. I thought that uh, I had to work outside of my house and um, I was a bit tired of always moving my tools from inside to outside. So I wanted to have a mobile workbench on which I could set my tools and just move this at once outside. So this is how the need came out. So this was done in the first step, which is the initiation, where I got the ID and then I came to the point to say, okay, I want to do that prototype. So the prototype, as I already mentioned, requested from me some research on the, the market and then I started the design. And you can see on top here the timeline with the different steps that I had. What you will do is estimate on your side those different steps. So I had to do drawings to do the, the design. I had, of course, to learn some techniques because I didn't know about this. And of course, I also had to buy some supply to be able to build all that. After that, I started with what is called the frames. And here I needed to, to cut the pieces. <laughs> Repair the frame and then mount and wax and fix the frame together. So you look at those different steps and you decide for yourself, okay, that there is no right or wrong in this. It's just to give you the opportunity to estimate something concrete. And after that comes the steps where I do the workbench top. This part, of course, I had again to research a bit on the market because I'm not a specialist and I had to prepare it. And you saw on the videos, there are holes punched in it. So I had to drill them and after all that I went into reinforcing the structure to give it a good stability on this system. Since it's a workbench you can imagine how we are going to hit things on this and once this was done we entered into the finition with the sanding of the elements and then painting and varnish everything. The last step is mounting. Mounting, I mounted the structure, the top, and then the wheels to give it mobility. So you estimate how long would you need to do those different steps. And you, you, you don't need to have an exact measure, an exact estimation. What is important is that you go through that process. Once your estimation is done, we'll need to see the correction of this exercise. We will also look into some theory about estimations and the way to do it. So, see you soon. You liked it. Thumb up, share it with your friend and subscribe to the channel. And see you soon for the next video. Bye bye.